Y'all see that? 36 degrees. So anyone who knows British motorcycles knows that they're notoriously hard to start. Why? 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 Roll that intro. Your back flip. I've never seen a Colorado uh, CNW Bikuni kit unboxed and installed on a motorcycle. I've seen plenty of the maps and the Sugcos and the Kahins, if that's how you say it, but uh, never a CNW. All right, for this unboxing, I'm gonna use my trusty Opinel and olive wood handle. All right, so here we go. The kit requires the use of a new throttle cable, uh, and it looks like we've included that here. Now, it's my suspicion, seeing how it's packed, that um, Matt builds these kits out. Uh, they're supposed to be tuned, set up, re pretty much ready out of the box for um, a 750 Norton. Good looking filter, guys. Looks like a KN knockoff of some sort. Got the uh, got the old gauze element, and I'm stainless, so look pretty snazzy on there, I think. You can just see we have the the, uh, the gas well the manifold adapter. Some new hardware uh, looks stainless USA on there. Some gasketing as well as some extra jets. Uh, yeah, extra jets, and they are marked with with the size on there. So. fuel line set up on it already and guys this is a genuine McCuny unit uh, for use in aircraft look at that look how pretty that is made in Japan so a lot of people will scoff um, a, on you for you know having a Japanese carburetor on your British bike but to be honest with you anything that keeps the bike going down the road and not in the garage I think is a win-win now uh, I think I'm gonna keep the A malls for sure, but I think I have a clogged pilot jet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those off. Uh, I'm gonna drill and tap for the pilot screw access. Uh, I'm gonna source uh, some set screws, and we're gonna do some machining on those. And I'll, I'll probably make a video of that afterwards. But uh, yeah, this is all you get in the kit. Um, it looks it looks like they took the time to set it up for you. Uh, you know, you've got, you've got fuel filters coming in and they're positioned correctly, flow, flow. We've got a brass T. Uh, all really nice touches. I think this is going to be winter, guys, so stay tuned. First thing we have to do is get the old ones off. So let's get the seat off.
So here is a two into one adapter. Um, nice flat services, good machining on that. Uh, I would have liked to seen it cleaned up a little bit uh, considering the money that you pay for this. But, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of rough in there. So I may go in there uh, and clean that up and also eventually would like to polish this surface.